Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Lana. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to count nucleotides in DNA. I'm going to show you two approaches. First one is looping over the DNA, and the second one using the built-in functionality provided by Python. So let's get started. So our task is to count the occurrences of nucleotides A, T, C, and G in provided DNA string. I'm going to show you two solutions to this problem, but there are plenty other ways one can do this. First solution is looping through the DNA manually. For these purposes, we create a dictionary of counts where we keep an eye of count of each nucleotide. At the beginning, we set the count of each nucleotide to zero. Then we loop through over the DNA nucleotide by nucleotide and increase the count from dictionary on each seen nucleotide. So if we see A, we are going to add plus 1 to the count of A. If we see T, we are going to add plus 1 to the count of T, and so on. When the loop finishes, we can print our counts dictionary and we can see each count per nucleotide. So in our case, nucleotide was a was seen 20 times in our DNA string, nucleotide T was seen 21 times in our DNA string, nucleotide C was seen 12 times in our DNA string, and nucleotide G was seen 17 times in our DNA string. We can now move to the second solution, which is easier as it uses the building functionality, so there is no implementation needed for this case. For these purposes, we can use count functionality which returns the number of occurrences of any characters we provide. So in our case, we are interested of occurrences of nucleotides A, T, C, and G, so we are going to call count method on our DNA string and pass each nucleotide as an input to the count method. So if we call dna.countA, that will return us all the occurrences of a nucleotide A, and in this case we get 20, as in our custom implementation. Similarly, for counting the occurrence of T, we get back 21, same as in our implementation, C and G as well. So using building functionality, it provides a much easier way of getting our solution. As I already mentioned, these two ways are not the only ways one can solve this problem. So as an exercise, try doing the same using the counter from Python collections to count the DNA nucleotides. You can find more about the counter on this link here. That was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below this video which topics would you like to see me covered. And if you still haven't, make sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. Until the next time, bye!